What's going on everybody, LYH Studio back here today with a video on how to make this layout. Uh, I got some requests on making more of these and these are really fun to make for me, so here they are. Let's hop straight into it. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is create our guides. So go up here, create guides. We're just gonna do three guides, lower the gutter a little bit and here they are. I'm gonna drag in the image that I have of the banana. Go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna shrink this so that it fits the page. This is gonna be a full bleed image. And I'm gonna use the shortcut key, Control Alt Shift C to make that fit into the frame. And if we hit W here, we can get a nice preview of what our image looks like right here. And that looks pretty good right on center in the page. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and create some text to fill this page up. This is going to be a fairly simple page. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and drag a nice window here. And what we're going to do is basically, we're just going to write something, whatever you like. So maybe for me, I'm going to write, I really like food. Make sure this is the font size that you want. So for example, if I want this to be a little bit bigger, maybe, uh, ah, it's too big. 46 and here I'm just gonna make it right justified um, and I'm gonna pick my favorite font right now which is Sophia Pro now you guys feel free to pick whichever font you like uh, I just really enjoy this font right now um, and then we're gonna go ahead and also make a little text box down here so for now I'm just gonna put in some uh, placeholder text like that again making sure that your Fonts are consistent and also has some sort of hierarchy. So if you use the bold font up here, you definitely don't want to use something like that for the body. Um, now to add a little bit of flair to this guy, um, we're going to use maybe a quote down here just to balance the page out. It's very heavy on the top right. So we're going to do the bottom left here with just a nice quote, maybe something uh, I really like bananas or something like that, right? And I'm gonna put that into quotation marks. There we go. And again, I'm gonna try to make this have some sort of hierarchy with the rest of my page. So if those are 12 font, I'm gonna go with maybe 24, just to not overpower that, but still be a, a presence on the page. Um, and again, consistency with the, uh, the fonts. So I'm gonna make that into a medium. That looks good. We kind of need something to ground it here um, and really place it in these boundaries that I've set for myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a really quick border. And what I did is go into the pen tool and just holding down shift is what's gonna make it draw straight. I'm gonna approximate where you know a nice frame could look like and just look at what that might look like needs to be a little bit more bold. So we're gonna go ahead and make this a little bit more bold, maybe like a three. Ah, that's a little bit too bold. We'll do two. And we're gonna center the text here. And I can also just copy this by using Alt. So Alt, Shift to make it straight. And again, we're gonna hold Shift so that it goes in increments of 90 degrees there when it rotates and just rotate that. Uh, that looks a little bit squished, so we can maybe do something like that. And there you go, we have something to balance out this page on the bottom here with the I really like bananas quote. And you can see that falls right into our margins, our page is split into three, okay? All right, on the right side, we wanna make something a little bit more complicated. So with our pen tool here selected, shortcut P, we're gonna go ahead and draw these parallelograms, holding shift down to make sure that my uh, cursor is drawing straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I've just eyeballed a parallelogram uh, that looks pretty okay actually, but if you guys need to adjust it, use the A direct selection tool, select these points and drag them up and down. Now we want to fit four within these two margins. So I'm just gonna test them out to see if I'm able to actually do that. Go ahead and drag these out. And I'm using um, sh uh, Alt to copy. Now you can see that these guys are a little bit too small. So what we can do is actually make this a little bit bigger. So just dragging that out, 
we can have something that's a little bit bigger. And this looks like a lot better of a size that we can work with. So if I drag these guys out and you know I balance these out or I distribute these guys out, um, then this will look pretty good, nice and evenly spaced out. Okay, great. Now that we have these frames or these polylines basically drawn in pen, what many may not know is we can actually just drag an image into them and it'll clip to the shape of this. So for example, if I drop in an image into here, you can see that it's clipped already. Now we're gonna use the same shortcut, Control, Alt, Shift, C, and that just makes it nice and snug within our frame. Uh, it has a ugly black line around it right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these guys and up here in my stroke, I'm gonna change that to none. So now you can see that they have disappeared and I just have my image. So go ahead and add the rest of your image. Make sure you select the frame first and then add your image. Maybe get some um, citrus here. And then in this frame, we can do, uh, I don't know, a lobster or something. Uh, and over here, we can do a, mm, let's do this. Nice. Okay, so there's our four nicely positioned frames with images in them. And all we gotta do now is fill in the rest with text. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that text box over using the alts once again. Uh, make that come down a little bit just to match that. And yeah, so however long your text may be, you can go ahead and, and do that. So I'm gonna place it with placeholder text and obviously it's not gonna be one long strip of text so it may look something more like that now the page looks a little bit empty right now so i'm gonna go ahead and just copy these guys over and just to give it a little bit of an accent um edge or accent to this page on the bottom left uh, i'm gonna type i really uh enjoy i don't know peeling bananas down here and drag that out so that it shows and what I'm gonna do is make this a accent color. So you have a lot of yellow on this page or depending on whatever page you have, the dominant color, and you're just gonna select something a little bit darker on the page. Now, this is a really good trick. You just select a color on the page. That's always better than selecting a color that is not actually anywhere on the page. So by doing that, by going into the eyedropper tool, which is eye, you can do that and this will really pop out. In fact, you can also add, just to balance the page out a little bit. Now you don't have to do this. Uh, go into the rectangle tool and I'm just gonna create a, a nice little border, you would say, on, on the top of the, the page here. It kind of, it grounds this image and it makes the, the text block stand out just a tiny bit more. Uh, again, you can also do this on the bottom if you like. Um, it really depends on you. Now that we have everything in, uh, something cool that you can also do is pretend that you want to, I don't know, switch these guys around a little bit. You can always just rotate these guys. You know, um, you can go into the, I believe it is right here. Yes, object. You can flip them horizontally so that you have some really nice shape here. Um, and you can obviously also swap out the images. So maybe you have something like a solid color here. If I delete this and just have a solid color as the fill, then you can also, you know, put in some blanks and, and things like that to really spice up your image. I'm gonna go ahead and undo. But yeah, that's going to be this really quick tutorial. I was gonna fit two in here, but um, it's getting a little bit long, so I'll put it in another video. But yes, I have created a Patreon, so if you guys want to support the channel, I have all my downloads in here, so you guys can get this uh, template if you really wanted to use it, uh, as well as some of the textures and some of the other layouts that I have before this. Uh, I put them on Patreon, so if you would like to support that, I have a link down in the description. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and there is definitely more coming and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.